Nike Foro's two focus reformed the military to improve its effectiveness, administrative capacity, and financial incentives. What were the military lands? What was the role of military courts and religion? What were the three new military themes? Find out today on Roman history. Background The mention of military lands came from Constantine VII, reigned 913 to 959 AD. It started with four gold pounds for the heavy cavalry but raised threefold under Nikephoros' reign. For gold pounds were equivalent to 288 nomismata, the bare minimum for them. Also, their tactics resembled more of Western European cavalry, knights. They became the shock troops. Military reforms If a Stratiades was to alienate no part of his property if its total value below this limit, and any alienation which brought his property below this minimum was to be cancelled by the unrequited return of the alienated plot. The purchase price could only be recovered in cases of alienation above this minimum, Ostrogorsky 286-287. The result led to a change in the army, a transition from the poor being soldiers to lesser nobility. The Stratiades were lighter cavalry. Before Nikephoros' reign, there was a law that was prostratioti and smallholders but not helped in central Anatolia and large estates. Historian Niccolo Fattori referenced Eric McGear and wrote, the holder of military lands who were forced to sell them were granted by the law the right to reclaim the property, even if it was above the threshold of four pounds of gold, they alienated within forty years from the sale, a right that was valid for their heirs as well, Fattori 65-66. The penalty was the dynastos having stratioti with six nomismata for one soldier per year. The dynatoi were powerful senior officials, politicians, military leaders, and religious leaders. Also, Nikephoros increased heavy cavalry and favored the army, from Leo the deacon's account, due to caring for its well-being. If a soldier committed murder, his heirs would not gain military lands but keep the current ones. In addition, freedom helped the army's morale, and its foundation came from their Christian religion, obeying God's will. For the military, they did not pay taxes. However, they earned financial incentives, rewards, stipends, and gifts. As for the conquests in the east, they needed protection in Armenian themes, which made raids less effective. Also, Nikephoros favored expanding to rich, eastern lands, there were laws against the rich and powerful being magnates, and under him, it included a few military officers. According to Skylitzes, the Focades, a significant Anatolian noble family, favored the military and were militaristic. In addition, the transfer from local militias to a professional army and or with mercenaries. Another perspective was the rise of feudalism in the Eastern Roman Empire. George Ostrogorsky supported it and the dynatoi became weaker. The maximum value of the land would be enough to sustain a person decently. There was the adoria, relief granted to impoverished owners of military lands, Harvey 39. Also, the beneficiaries retained the same privileges as other stratioti, but as they were needy, epideus, they were exempted from service, Harvey 39-40. The military lands were for the military and taxation. Interconnectedness. While there were changes in the military lands, entanglements were also problematic. The Eastern Orthodox Church had illegally donated military holdings, Treadgold 500. Nikephoros II wanted the Church to focus on religion, not worldly matters. There were military courts, soldiers would be held accountable, and a strategos, high official, led them. Nikephoros added three more themes. Cyprus, 965, Terran, 966 67, and Lucania, 968. Effects The army started to use more heavy cavalry tactics like a cavalry charge from Western European knights, a more offensive strategy, and a military increase. Justice occurred in military courts, military lands were for the military, not anyone else's. Nikephoros' innovations, care, 
and incentives helped the army to succeed and fight their wars against the Muslims. Catholic University of America Professor George T. Dennis mentioned the continuing relationship between the land and the military. Thank you for listening, and please like, subscribe, comment, and enable notifications to see more of my videos. It would mean a lot for me and my personal goal. It is to be better than my family thinks I am. Standing up to the stereotypes of the Asian individual is a fight that I have long been through.